no good. I've got no idea where I am. This damned forest is too big. When I set out from my village, I was told it was only a two-day walk to the next one. But that was four days ago. Well, sounds like my luck is improving. If nothing else, I should be able to eat some meat tonight. I was getting pretty sick of oatmeal for every meal. Hmm, I hope it's something big. Like a wolf. Or a bear. But I guess even if it's a rabbit, it's still meat. Oh no you don't! You aren't getting away from me that easily! Ha! Now I've got you! I hope you like the idea of being turned into Barbie... Q? Huh. Well... You definitely aren't a rabbit. At least not like any rabbit I've ever seen. Ah, you can speak, I see. Definitely not a rabbit, then. Hmm. Stay back, you say. And why's that? You gonna stab me with that little butter knife? Ah, <sighs> all right, all right. I get it. I probably just scared the hell out of you just now. Guess I can't blame you. Given how... small... you are. A barbarian coming running out of the bushes at you probably is a bit terrifying. I give you credit, though. The fact that you pulled out a knife rather than immediately start begging for your life is commendable. Although... Your delivery might be a bit more convincing if I couldn't see you shaking so much. It's a sword. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. I, hey! I am not going to eat you. I know that I'm a barbarian, and people are convinced that means I'm basically a wild animal. But eating things I can talk doesn't sit too well with me. I like my food. Quiet. Look, I'm putting away my axe. See? I'm not gonna hurt you. Now, how about you put away that... sword? And we can both be calm about this. Good. Now, mind telling me what you're doing out here? You don't appear to be an adventurer. You don't even have any gear on you. You also get lost on the way to town. You ran away. Ran away from what? You... You were afraid for your life. Why? Did you get into some trouble? You don't exactly look like the thief or the murderer type. You don't have that stink of death about you. Hmm, I see. So, the town began driving out any non-humans. Killing them. <sighs> I wish I could say that was the first time I've heard of such a thing happening. Tell me. Did the village recently get a new church? I thought as much. How did I know? Eh, just an educated guess. 
Let's just say that I have also had my run-ins with those zealots. It seems it's become quite popular for them to purge their settlements of anyone they deem lesser. But I am a human. <laughs> you would think so, wouldn't you? But it seems that those people don't feel the same way. We barbarians, to them, well, we are nothing more than animals. And you, what are you? Some sort of elf? You have pointed ears, though I cannot say that I have ever seen an elf so small or green. You're a goblin? Really? I thought that you all never left your caves. That's why I've never seen one before. I admit, I do not like caves. Too cramped. None of that matters now, you say. And why not? If you were driven out of the human civilization, could you not simply return to your clan? Or is it more complicated than that? I must admit I'm unfamiliar with goblin customs. Oh. They were wiped out. I am... Um... I am sorry to hear that. May I ask how? It's fine. You do not have to say if it is too painful for you. Speaking of pain, I cannot help but notice you have lots of injuries. Were those done to you by those zealots? And they say that we are the monsters. Committing violence on a lone woman. Unacceptable. Where is this village? I will show them what true violence is. <sighs> no. No, you're right. There are more immediate things that need to be dealt with before thinking about reprisal. For starters, your leg... I believe I have something in my bag that can help with that. If it is not treated, then it will surely get infected. The fact that you were able to run on it at all is impressive. You have a strong spirit. Here. I have some bandages to wrap it and help it stay clear of infection. They've been soaked in a special herbal solution, so it should also help with the pain. Why am I helping you? Why not? I do not hate you for simply being a goblin. You cannot help what you are, and it makes no difference to me. If you are an intelligent creature, then it only makes sense to lend you aid if you need it. You aren't food or a dangerous animal. And despite my appearance, I am not a savage. I cannot simply leave you out here to die. If that is not reason enough for you, then how about this? That village is where I've been trying to go for days now. You know where it is, so you can lead me there, can you not? If you return, they will kill you. Is that what they said to you? <laughs> if you were alone, that might be true. But you are not alone anymore, are you? I have given you aid which means that I have accepted responsibility for your well-being. 
but I did not do it strictly out of charity. I need something from you in return. I will protect you, but in exchange, you will lead me to the village. I swear on my warrior's honor that I will not let any harm come to you. I simply need you to guide me to the village. Put your trust in me, little one. Then it's a deal. From this day forward, I will be your guard. Oh. And I suppose it's a little late for introductions. But you can call me Shore. And what can I call you? It is nice to meet you. You will be the first goblin I've ever traveled with. Though, now that I think about it, you will be the first person I've traveled with, period. It may come as a surprise to you, but most people are not very trusting of a wild man who towers over them dressed in animal furs and wielding an axe. I guess first impressions are not my best quality. And it makes it rather difficult to find traveling companions when everyone immediately either runs away or begins frantically begging for their life. Hmm. That's right. With that leg, you're in no condition to travel. Well, that's not a problem at all. <clears throat> there. You may sit up there on my shoulder and tell me which way to go. I can feel you trembling again. What is it? <laughs> ah, I see. You're nervous about being so high up. Well, not to worry. I won't drop you. Just hold on tight. Though... I would appreciate if you didn't pull my hair if you can avoid it. Aren't you heavy? <laughs> Please. You're so light I barely even feel you. Stop worrying. I assure you that it is no struggle for me at all. Now then. Point the direction that we need to head. It's about a day's walk in that direction. All right. Let's get started then. Hold on tight. <laughs> 